Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Live at 10. We'll start today's service by singing Shine, Jesus, Shine. say Psalm 107 together. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, his love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord tell their story, those he redeemed from the hand of the foe, those he gathered from the lands, from east and west, from north and south. Some went out on the sea in ships, they were merchants on the mighty waters. They saw the works of the Lord, his wonderful deeps in a deep. For he spoke and stirred up a tempest that lifted high the waves. They mounted up to the heavens and went down to the depths. In their peril, their courage melted away. They reeled and staggered like drunkards. They were at their wits end. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he brought them out of their distress. He stilled the storm to a whisper. The waves of the sea were hushed. They were glad when it grew calm, and he guided them to their desired haven. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. Let them exalt him in the assembly of the people and praise him in the council of the elders. 
and so we ask God for his forgiveness. Heavenly Father, we lower our heads before you, and we confess that we have too often forgotten that we are yours. Sometimes we carry on our lives as if you are not there, and fall short of being a good witness to you. For these things we ask your forgiveness, and we also ask for your strength. Give us clear minds and open hearts, so we may witness to you in our world. Remind us to be who you want us to be, regardless of what we are doing or who we are with. Hold us to you, and build our relationship with you, and with those you have given us on earth. Amen. And may God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit forgive us all our sins, and lead us into everlasting life. Amen. And now we're going to sing again. Take my life and let it be. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. That day, when evening came, he said to his disciples, Let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along, just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up, and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. 
Thanks be to God for his word to us today. Amen. In that gospel reading, the disciples are scared of the storm. Maybe they were husbands and fathers who wondered if they would see their family again. The story isn't just about fear of a storm. It's about understanding who Jesus is. My New Testament Greek isn't very good at all, but I do know that in this passage the word used for afraid comes from the Greek delos, and the word we translate as terrified is from phobos. Phobos meaning real fear, and delos meaning cowardice, timidity or fearfulness. When Jesus questions the disciples, he may not only be asking them why they are afraid. He could be saying, why are you being cowardly? Why are you fearful? It's almost as if he is bemused because they haven't yet understood who he really is. If they had had a complete understanding of Jesus, the storm wouldn't have, wouldn't have scared them at all. With Jesus in their lives, they didn't need to be fearful. And with Jesus in our lives, we have no need to be either. It is, however, quite reassuring that they were fearful, even though they lived alongside Jesus and experienced events firsthand. They spent many hours with Jesus, but they hadn't worked it all out. And I would imagine that even if they had, they would still have been concerned about whether they would get back to their families that night. Fast forward to the end of Mark's Gospel and disciples were still scared and unsure after Jesus' resurrection. In English, the last word of Mark's Gospel is afraid. Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Salome had taken spices to the tomb so that they could anoint Jesus' body. But when they got there, the stone had been rolled away and Jesus had gone. In that particular passage, we, we see the words trembling and bewildered. The women went out and fled from the tomb. They said nothing to anyone because they were afraid. Mary, Mary and Salome saw the empty tomb with their own eyes. Yet they were still scared to go and tell people. But they must have overcome their fearfulness eventually and told people or we wouldn't be here today. The three women gathered up their courage and confronted their fears. And as women in Roman times, that wouldn't have been easy. But they did it. With God's help, they did it. And so can we. I believe God wants us to have courage with our faith. He doesn't want us to be cowardly or timid. But he does understand our real fears. And he will always Help us to overcome them. Amen. So let's profess our faith in God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We're going to sing again now. As the deer pants for the water. Oh. 
but I can't remember what recording it is, so you have to bear with me. It's not that one. Sorry about this. We'll sing it unaccompanied. As the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs after you. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone may my spirit yield. You my heart's desire and I long to worship you. I want you more than gold or silver, only you can satisfy. You alone are the real joy giver and the apple of my heart. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone may my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. You're my friend, and you are my brother, even though you are a king. I love you more than any other, so much more than anything. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone may my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. And so we come to our prayers. Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us to this new day. We pray for the world, especially remembering all those who don't have access to the COVID vaccines. For all those whose suffering has been indirectly related to the pandemic. Give the governments wisdom and compassion in any decisions they make. We pray for the church and all faith leaders. Give us all courage in our faith. Courage to live the Christian life. May there be understanding between different religions. Remember all those in our local communities, as restrictions begin to be lifted. Help those who might be fearful of going back to a no more normal life. Give them courage to live their life to the full.
Father God, keep your loving arms around those who are sick. We particularly pray for Angela and for Richard's mum. Comfort all those who grieve. And may the souls of the departed rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. And so let's draw all our prayers together in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. And so now we're going to sing a hymn which we very often sing at Easter. But it's a favourite for many. So, thine be the glory. for God's blessing. May God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with us all, all those we love and all those we ought to love, now and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>